everyone. I say to you, praise the Lord to all of our satellite viewers, and welcome to the Who Told You Show. My name is Minister Carla Goschen, and I bring you greetings in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm saying to you on this morning, get up. Hallelujah. Get up because you have the victory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't know about you, hallelujah, but I'm doing good. Amen. Hallelujah. I tell you, I'm giving honor to God on today for the woman of God, Dr. Marjorie Wilson. She's the visionary of the Who Told You Show. And I'm just giving God thanks and praise for the vision that he's given the woman of God for such a time as this, amen, to advance his kingdom in the earth. Hallelujah. And I will continue to pray for her. And I say, I ask you on today to continue to pray her strength in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can watch us every Sunday morning at 1030 a.m. Hallelujah. At, um, hallelujah. Glory to God. At Via Bell Global Broadcast, Comchat, Comcast Channel 20, hallelujah. And you can also Google us at bgntvgospel.com, glory to God, amen, hallelujah. Uh, before I go into the show on today, into the program on today, I just wanted to uh, make mention of uh, the recent passing of, um, his name is Prince, everybody knows him as Prince. But as uh, his earthly name, his true name was, birth name was Prince Rogers Nelson, amen. Glory to God. And I just, um, so many have been touched uh, by his life. And uh, as the producer said on today, he was just an, an iconic musician. So um, I'm just going to say that um, even when I heard about um, his passing, I was at work. And on my way home, the strangest thing happened. When I was sitting there in the car and I was had some few thoughts on them, I was listening to some music on the radio and I could, uh, the tears just began to pour out my eyes and it really surprised me, amen, because I really didn't consider myself an um, idol of Prince's, but um, I did, you know, I did respect him and, and his talents, amen. Glory to God. And I, I tell you, I just had to kind of ask the Lord, well, Lord, what was that about? Hallelujah. I'm telling you, the Lord told me, he said, it's raining purple. Mm, my God. And he said, well, purple represents power in his kingdom. Glory to God. And I, all I could say to the Holy Spirit was, Lord God, I thank you for my splash. I thank you for my drop. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, we need all the power, hallelujah, that we can get from heaven. Hallelujah. Power to live right. Glory to God. Power to talk right. Hallelujah. Power to influence in the earth. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So I'm just thanking and I'm praising God. Hallelujah. That it's raining power. Hallelujah. In the earth. Amen. I don't know about you, but I'm going to reach up and get it. Amen. Hallelujah. And as we pray on today, hallelujah, touching and agreeing in the name of Jesus for this broadcast. Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name, Lord God, that you will continue to bless, Father, this broadcast, that you will continue to bless, Lord God, the network, Father, that you will continue to bless the Who Told You Show in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We just thank you, Father, for your blood. Lord God, that covers. Lord God, we thank you for your provisions, Father. Hallelujah. Lord God, that you are the way maker, Father. We just give you glory for that on today. I thank you, God, for this time and this opportunity, Lord God. Hallelujah. To represent you, Father, in media ministry. I pray for the word on today. And Lord God, those that are hearers of the word on today, God, that they will receive from heaven. That they will receive from you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, by your spirit. In Jesus' name, Father, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And as we continue to speak into the atmosphere of the city of Detroit, I tell you, we haven't given up on Detroit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We just thank God that he is blessing. Hallelujah. In the city of Detroit. Father, we pray for your mercy. We pray for your grace. We pray, Lord God. 
Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Father. Hallelujah, God, that you will, Lord God, continue, Father, to rest your hand upon the city of Detroit. We thank you, Lord God, that things are changing for the better, God, in spite of what we see. We pray, Father, hallelujah, glory to your name, Father, for deliverance for the city of Detroit. Hallelujah, God, deliver us from debt, deliverance, Lord God, from the spirit of murder. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, that you are the true deliverer. And Father, if it only you can do this thing, Lord God, and we're trusting and we're still believing, God. Hallelujah, Father. Lord God, that you're doing it by your spirit, your Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we just call it so done, Father. We thank you that it's raining power in the city of Detroit, in the state of Michigan. It's raining power, Lord God, through these United States of America. Father, we just give your name glory. We give you the honor. And we give you the praise in Jesus' name, God, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. And the word of God comes uh, to us today from the Gospel of John. Hallelujah. And the Bible reads, we're talking uh, chapter 4 and verse 32. Yet a time, I'm sorry, um, John 4 and 23. Yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is spirit and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. And I tell you, I just want to ask you a question on today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you a true worshiper? Glory to God. Do you worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Through your actions. Do you worship the Lord? Hallelujah. Through your attitude. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Do your attitude and your actions express love toward God. My goodness, you know, I tell you how we respond, glory to God, to things that happen in our lives, things that occur, glory to God. We don't always want to, hallelujah, say or, or you know, do the right thing, because I tell you, the flesh is wicked and it will rise up, my God. But a true worshiper, hallelujah, Glory to God that's, that worships him in spirit and in truth. Glory to God will be led by his spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. And that, that our, our response will, will, will um, show love toward him. My goodness, you know, I'm reminded of a situation um, in the workplace where um, there was some, some, some uh, situation that had occurred hallelujah with one of the um co-workers there and i'm telling you it, it was just a confrontation my goodness and i just thank and i praise god hallelujah that he had me under holy ghost arrest that day glory to god where i was able to you know just um deal with that thing through a uh, protocol my god in the workplace and i tell you god worked that thing out hallelujah and he worked it out for my good and before i knew it myself and the co-worker we were hugging each other and forgiveness came and everything worked out glory to god and even so uh an occurrence happened a couple of days later my goodness well the lord led me to go and asked her that did she want me to pray with her concerning this situation and she agreed glory to god i'm telling you Hallelujah. So she received something from God that day. I tell you, it's so important. Hallelujah. Glory to God to worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Because all God wants is the glory. Hallelujah. And he got the glory out of that thing. My goodness, he is awesome. A true worshiper enjoys the presence of the Lord. You know, the Bible lets us know that the presence in the presence of the Lord is the fullness of joy. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I love 
God's presence. Amen. I'm telling you, it's something so special about his presence. I tell you, when you can just sense him and feel him, you know, moving all around you and see him. Hallelujah. How he worked things out for us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then that just spending that quality time with him, praising him and giving thanks and just appreciating him. Hallelujah. Just for who he is. Amen. I'm telling you, in the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, is the fullness of joy. So a true worshiper loves his presence. So fall in love, glory to God, with the presence of the Lord. Fall in love in his presence. God is awesome. Glory to his name. A true worshiper, hallelujah, lives a life of submission. Glory to God, to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I'm telling you, it's so important to submit to the will of God in spite of us. Amen. Because, you know, he don't think like we do. His thoughts are not like ours. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. So it's so important. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. To submit to the will of God concerning us. Amen. Hallelujah. So that means that we have to spend some time with him. Glory to God, hallelujah, to seek out his will. Glory to his name. That's submission. Hallelujah, Speak, uh, spending time with the Lord. Glory to his holy name. Hallelujah. And then when we spend time with him and we go into his presence, amen. How many know we're coming out with something? Hallelujah. And whatever that something is, hallelujah, that we can submit to his will. Glory to God. Because it's not our will that we seek, but it is the will of God. Hallelujah. Concerning us that we seek. Amen. Hallelujah. So our true worshiper loves his presence, always seeking after him. And, you know, I'm telling you, when things happen in my life, I'm quick to say, well, what is God saying? What does the Lord have to say about it? So that caused me to put Carla on breaks. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? And take out a little time with Jesus. Glory to his name. And wait on the Lord. Glory to his name, because I tell you, he will respond, hallelujah, when you seek him out. Glory to his name. A true worshiper defines the priority that we place in God, which means that where is God in your life? Hallelujah. Is he first? Sometimes, maybe, tomorrow, today. <laughs> today not tomorrow glory to God I'm, I don't know about you but he needs to be the head all the time glory to God so a true worshiper I'm telling you hallelujah they have total submission to God hallelujah and he is the head of their lives I'm telling you glory to God we have to seek the Lord concerning everything concerning us my God, I don't care how small you may think it is, even on the way here today. I'm telling you, before I started out, I had to pray. I had to pray and, and, and send some things out before me. I had to ask God, send the angels before me, Lord God. Show me what to do, Father. Bless me to be able to hear, hallelujah, what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, a true worshiper. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Keeps God first at all times. Amen. Hallelujah. A true worshiper lifestyle just uh, exemplifies holiness. I'm telling you, as I begin to um, um, submit my God to the Lord, hallelujah, and just, you know, getting Carla out the way and just learning how to do things God's way. I'm telling you that change began to come. Hallelujah. Even some things I'm telling you, it blew my, literally blew my mind. My goodness, God, I'm telling you, he will give you a new appetite. Hallelujah. He will give you a thirst for him. He will give you a hunger after the things of God. And I'm telling you, after the Lord pour into you the way he does, it, it just looks like you're not satisfied unless you're doing something for Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. 
thank you, Jesus. And I'm telling you, as you seek after him, as you submit, hallelujah, your will to the will of God, my God holiness the beauty of holiness stuff begin to just drop off stuff begin to just fall off i'm telling you some things fell off i can't tell you when i can't tell you how but i know it, it was in my pursuit hallelujah glory to god in in submitting to the lord and allowing him to lead and guide me and allowing him hallelujah glory to god to have his way concerning me Thank you, Jesus. I'm talking about the true worshiper. Are you a true worshiper? Glory to his name. A true worshiper, honor, hallelujah, with extravagant love um, for God and extreme submission unto him. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, there was a time in my life and people would come, and even now, that's all she talk about is Jesus, Jesus, everything, God, Jesus, Holy Ghost, hallelujah, glory to God. And I'm telling you, when the Lord drop down in me or give me a notion or draw me in a certain direction, I'm going. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, glory to his name. I'm, I'm talking about sold out for God, hallelujah, because he won't lead you wrong. Thank you, Jesus. He will not lead you wrong. And sometimes, you know, obstacles will try to get in our way. But when you know that you heard the Lord, hallelujah, you don't let nothing stop you. You have to press your way through. Glory to God, the true worshiper. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you true to the call that God has placed upon your life? Are you true to the faith of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. The true worshipers. Hallelujah. God is calling us as true worshipers. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And we're going to go over to Exodus 34 and 14. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. And the word of God reads, Do not worship any other God, for the Lord whose name is Jealous is a jealous God. My goodness. I'm telling you, this thing is serious. Don't play with it. Hallelujah. The Bible lets us know he is a jealous God. He doesn't take kind. Hallelujah. Uh, to worship he doesn't take it lightly don't you take it lightly glory to god it's time to worship hallelujah it's time hallelujah to submit to the will of god concerning you my goodness i'm telling you ask god for the help hallelujah you know the lord won't put more on us than we can bear he will not tell us to do something that we can't handle my God, he will help you. He will provide glory to his name. Now, the Bible lets us know that he is a jealous God. My goodness. Who are you faithful to more than him? He is a jealous God. My God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who are you trusting more than him? He is a jealous God. My God. Hallelujah. He is very careful, hallelujah, to protect what belongs to him. Now, I don't know about you, but I know I'm one of his. Hallelujah. He's very careful to protect you. Hallelujah. What belongs to him. My goodness. What is that other thing that has a part of you that God wants? Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, this is something that can agitate him. He is a jealous God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. So I'm saying to you today, hallelujah, glory to his name. Just, just checking, just checking. Make sure, make sure that he is first. Make sure, glory to God, that you are in submission to him. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, don't play with this thing. It's powerful. Glory to his name. God is calling for the true worshipers. Hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, it's work to do. It's work to do. He's told us it's raining power from heaven. Hallelujah. Power to get the job done. 
power to get the work done. But I'm telling you, we have to get self out the way. Hallelujah. We got to press in. We got to be willing to sacrifice. Hear God. Hear the voice of the Lord. Hear him. God is speaking. He said, my sheep hears me. Hallelujah. He is speaking in this season. Glory to his name. And he's calling on the true worshipers. Hallelujah. Those, hallelujah, that will humble themselves and pray and cry out, my God. Hallelujah. So I say to you today, are you a true worshiper? Glory to his name. Hallelujah. It's not too late. Just humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. Talk to him about it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Consult with the Lord about it. Amen. Because you may be a worshiper. Hallelujah. But are you the true worshiper? Hallelujah. That God is calling upon in this season, in this hour, and in this day. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. I'm telling you. And the Lord promises. He promises that his glory, his glory will lift the heavy loads off of our lives. My God. Hallelujah. He is our deliverer. He is our help. Hallelujah. God is able, hallelujah, to help you. God is able to bring you out. God is able to see you through. Hallelujah. But it's the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to his name that you need. Fall in love with his presence. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. He will come in. He will commune with you. I'm talking about intimacy. Thank you, Jesus. Having a little talk with Jesus and Jesus having a little talk with you. I'm telling you, I'm excited about it. Glory to his name. He will interchange his thoughts with you, his feelings with you. I'm telling you, God can get so personal with you. He will literally blow your mind. So we serve an awesome God. Hallelujah. And he is worthy. He is worthy. Ain't nobody like him. Nobody like Jesus. I'm telling you, when everybody has gone away, he's still there. The true worshiper coming to alignment. Hallelujah. Of a true worshiper. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, he is awesome. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He will protect you. He will see you through. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. So I say to you today, I encourage your heart. I encourage your heart. Hallelujah. Submit to his will. Glory to his name. Have a little talk with Jesus. Glory to his name. And obey him. Because, see, a true worshiper is obedient. My goodness, I'm telling you, we don't always want to hear, you know, what God has to say because it may, it may be an inconvenience at the time. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But the Lord is saying, put all of that aside and hear me, my sheep that hears my voice. I'm calling for the true worshipers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So spend a little time with Jesus, amen, and hear the voice of God. Sell out. Just sell out to him. Lord, and can't nobody do you like Jesus. Can't nobody do you like the Lord. And I'm telling you, in this time, in this day, in this age that we're living in, hallelujah, it's so important to hear God and it's so important to obey him. Hallelujah, glory to his name. Glory to his name, the true worshipers. Thank you, Jesus, in this hour, in this day. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, God is great, and he is greatly to be praised. He is your help. So you lift up your eyes to the hills from which cometh your help, because he is your help. Amen. Hallelujah. God will give you the strength you need. Hallelujah. He will give you the tenacity you need. Hallelujah. To get the job done. To get the work done. God will send people. I'm telling you, he will send help. Hallelujah. I heard the other day the Lord said he'll put, a, put some clothes on an angel and dispatch that angel to you. Oh, my God. 
Mm, mm, mm. He will never fail you. He will never leave you. Amen. The true worshipers. Are you a true worshiper? Glory to his name. And to those that are listening, hallelujah. And I'm telling you, you have not made that call. You have not accepted him. Glory to God. It's not too late. Hallelujah. I'm telling you to obey God and say, Lord, what must I do to be saved? I need you today. I want you in my life. Hallelujah. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Save me. Change me. Hallelujah. Make me whole. That's worship. Glory to his name. I encourage your heart today. Hallelujah. Let him in. Let him come on in and commune with you and have a conversation with you so he can work it out for you, so he can straighten it out for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Make heaven your home, eternal life. Amen. Hallelujah. So I say to you today, and I encourage you, hallelujah, once again, if you don't give up on God, he won't give up on you. God is able. Amen. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy, D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, My soul says thank you. My soul says thank you. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you, everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. My name is Mike Duggan, and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie, watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. What's going on, y'all? It's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. Calling all ministries, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have a package that's available that includes production and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at $25. So don't hesitate. 
give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today. You never ever let me down in 